Hey guys, Mike Clear from St. James Volkswagen. Today I'm going to be showing you how to use Apple CarPlay in any one of our new VW models. Alright, so first off, all you're going to want to do, it's pretty easy, pretty self-explanatory. Just going to plug the cord into the phone. Uh, obviously let it notify that the phone is charging. And then from there on out, you're able to uh, put it down. Now the very first time you set up your phone with Apple CarPlay, it's going to ask you on your phone uh, to allow uh, the, your Volkswagen to access Apple CarPlay while your phone is locked and you just hit allow. It's super easy. And then this screen pops up. Uh, now, self-explanatory, it shows you the screen of your phone on the screen of the vehicle. Uh, so you're able to access your phone, music, Apple Maps, messages, your, uh, whatever is playing currently on your phone, and then the Volkswagen menu. All of this stuff is, is active through Siri. So for example, if you click messages, Siri will actually ask you who you want to send a message to. Now, you're able to override that just by pressing the home button, and then all of your past messages will show up here. Now, for example, if you want to send a message. What do you want to say? Hi there. Your message to someone with a 204 area code says, Hi there. Ready to send it? Yes. Done. It's very easy. You can send people text messages, um, you know, without having to touch the screen at all, um, or having to touch the screen multiple times. You're able to answer phone calls. You're able to access navigation. So if your vehicle doesn't have navigation, but you have Apple CarPlay, you'll be able to access nav, and it shows you everything: restaurants, hotels, gas stations, uh, whatever you need. So as you can see, Apple CarPlay is really easy to use, but if you have any questions, you can come down to St. James Volkswagen, located on 670 Century Street. Ask to speak with Mike, and I'd be happy to go over it with you. Have a good day.